All right, here's a little pro tip site. Uh, you may have some missing property out there in your name. This site right here is called missingmoney.com. It's basically uh, the National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators. This provides a free, safe, and secure site to the public. New properties are out of daily, so you can do your search here and you know, check back often. So basically, it's trusted by states and provinces. Uh, basically, the leading trust authority in unclaimed property. So what is unclaimed property? Let's see. Types of property being safeguarded include uncashed checks from corporations, uh, financial institutions, banks, insurance companies, and municipalities, inactive stock, and brokerage accounts, unclaimed safe deposit boxes, and many more. Wait, there's more. Uh, it could be gift cards and stuff like that. You just don't know anything that you never claimed in your name. Most businesses by law per state, depending on the state, have to turn it over to the state and uh, any unclaimed property then down the road. I think the state will just use it on public funded things. So in the end, the government wins, right? All right, there are millions of properties totaling billions of dollars available to search and claim on missingmoney.com. So how do you do it? Steps, step one. Use the search form to look for unclaimed property. You find your name, and if it's you or if it's close to you, you f uh, file the claim. And once verified, that's key, they're going to verify you. Uh, you will receive your unclaimed property. Here is the uh, endorsements, the NAOUPA, NAUPA, the NAUPA, the National Association of State Treasurers. So there you go. Let's go ahead and do a search. You can do it right here. Put your business name and your first name. You can go down here. You can hit this button. It's not that hard. Start your search. Blammo. Let's just make up some fictitious name here. Trump and Hunter. Two names in the news. Search all states. To begin your search, enter your last name or the name of your business. To better refine your results, you may also enter your first name. Exact name matches will be shown first. Uh, property for individuals with similar names to the names you entered will follow when you are ready to submit your claim. Select View Claim Properties and follow the instructions below. All right, let's search. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's going to do this stupid verification. Oh, look at that. So what it does is find, it matches, it's very open match, right? Unless you put in your city and state. Uh, it does a broad search. And then what you can do is click on info. And then what happens here is, uh, here it's in Wisconsin, here's Florida. Undisclosed amount, the amount in general, what the property is worth. There's Trump Corporation. Uh, Jeffrey Trump, Jeffrey Godfrey and Trump, sorry. Trump Associates, there's no Hunter Trump, interesting. Let's go, you can go to page, paginate. So if you click on info, uh, if you, then you can go to the actual state. So here's Nevada, right? You go in here and it'll take you to the official site of that state so then you go through here and this is how then you file your claim so go ahead put in your name if you think that's your name and uh matches and that may be some property owed to you or they're holding it for you go click on the info go to the state file your claim you will be verified background checked all that good stuff to make sure it's you and uh there you go you just never know 25 bucks is 25 bucks you might have an old Starbucks gift card that you never used, and then maybe Starbucks turned it over to the state of Nevada in this case, and then it's out there in your name. But I don't know if you're when you get a gift card, it's not in your name. So say you had a refund check coming to you, or you close an account and there was some interest paid, and they never get, were able to get it to you, or you moved or something. So it's stuff like that, right? Stuff where they couldn't find you, or or it was small small pittance. But you just don't know. You just don't know. So go check it out. Again, the site is missingmoney.com. All right, have fun with it.
I mean, don't have fun with it, but just go see. Maybe there's something out there in your name, or if you're the heir or the uh, what do you call it, the steward of the of your of your uh, oh, what's the word of your property, the executor or whatever that you can go check out if there's any property. If you represent the family, go do it. Again, this will just give you a general search, or you can really put in the details here. Uh, yeah, and then you can go do the claim and have all the right information to file the claim. All right, have fun with it. Thought this was interesting. I don't have any background or any property, so I failed. I, I lost. I don't have anything owed to me. Eh, pretty cool. Talk to you later. Out.